As time kept going on and I would cover more ground and see more deer, it became apparent that these deer were going to be bunched up in big groups. These bucks are all hanging together this time of year. They still have their velvet on. They're very much still in their summer patterns and their behavior primarily revolves around water. So we were focusing on the sources of water, glassing those areas in the prime times. And we also found that during the midday heat, you could catch these deer getting up to get a drink when it's hot out. So water was a key factor during this hunt. This country we're in, you know, it's kind of the juniper country, but look at this. You got some burns out there, some non-burned area, and you'd think that those areas would just have tons of deer in them. And I've been here three days, I have not seen one deer out there. They're into these very, very specific spots, and it seems they like uh, the tall sage, I mean, there's deer in, in those areas, but it seems when we find deer, there's just a lot of deer. I've seen elk out here, but I just haven't seen the deer down there. It's kind of interesting. Big country for sure. So tomorrow's opening day out here in Utah, archery season 2023 for mule deer. And Blaine's up to bat for his first archery mule deer hunt. It's a little bit before four in the morning right now on the opener august 19th i just drove out here to the spot where i'm going to start hiking big buck it's been living on this hillside we've been watching him all week so hopefully i can get in there before any of the other guys it looks like i'm the only guy out here i, I decided to come out real early to try to beat some of the pressure and be up there waiting for these deer when they work up that hillside so we'll see what happens I was a little over halfway up the mountain and I figured that the deer would be below me, but due to that rain the night before, the deer were a lot higher. They were way up on the mountain where the dark timber starts. So I ended up having to climb higher than I already was while keeping the elevation in between us. So I dropped down into a ravine and worked my way up to keep myself out of sight of the deer. At first, I got within 200 yards and they were right out in the open, so I didn't have a plan on how to get to them. But it seemed like they were all moving in the same direction, so I decided to drop back down into the ravine and try to cut up and head them off in the junipers, where I could move around a little bit better without being spotted as I would be in the wide open sage. So after making it to those junipers, it didn't take long for me to spot velvet coming through the trees. Blood here.
Had the good fortune this year of drawing a tag that I've wanted to draw for a long time. Didn't think I'd have any chance of pulling the tag this year with only nine points, but they always say keep applying, and this year it paid off. I drew the archery tag and had a wonderful week up here on the mountain looking at these awesome creatures, and opening morning just couldn't have gone any better. Got up at three today, got to come out, watch the sunrise over the mountains, find this group of bucks and do a stalk on them all throughout the morning, cover a ton of ground, and had a lot of fun. And ended up with a great buck that I couldn't be more proud of.